My name is Sapoor Pruitt. I'm with YR Media. Oh, Hi, hello. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you too. Uh, these musical roles are the first to the both of you. The two of you have beautiful voices that channel Rostan and Daisy and Billy much better than I could have imagined. What made you seek to share your vocal gifts through the series, and how was the recording together? Oh, thank you, first of all. Um, and I think that first and foremost for me, it was the desire to want to play Daisy more than uh, the desire to sing. And I kind of was like, I will do whatever I need to do <laughs> to to play her because I just really connected with her and with Taylor's book and with the script. Um, and a large part of that was being able to sing. Um, so, you know, uh, both Sam and I had, you know, little experience singing. So it was certainly a journey and it took a lot of people and coaches to help us um, get to the point uh, that we're at now where we have a record. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a beautiful journey and I'm really grateful for it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, I'd read the scripts and I read the book and somehow still didn't understand quite how much music would be involved with, with this project. I don't know how that like went over my head, but I think I was so um, drawn into the relationships and the drama and the, the, the kind of character arc. The music came later and quite quickly was a very, very hard rock to the face um, of a reality check. Hard rock and roll to the hard face. Roll to the <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, but um, yeah, like, I think I think the the, the music came later, um, and and yeah, it was 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 very challenging to say the very least. But um, I just yeah, similarly, I just wanted to be involved in in the project and with the people involved, and um, yeah, and, and watch tell this incredible story. Awesome. While Daisy and Billy are twin souls that are constantly at odds with each other, as they both reflect parts of themselves that the other doesn't want to see, do you feel that you both had an instant connection or did it take time to develop the more you work together on the set? I think that, I think there was an instant, hmm, was there? <laughs> no, um, I, I think there was an instant connection because I remember when we did our like um, audition together, I felt very certain that he was Billy. And for me, that was because I felt really comfortable working with him. And I think that that is the most you can connect with your, with your the actors you're working with, you know, right? Yeah, no, I, I, in total agreement. I think there's like an immediate trust of character. Um, and and e even seeing Riley interact with like the producers during my audition when I was quite literally, you know, dying of anxiety in that moment. Like, I, I think there was this sort of an ease about her and uh, a wonderment and in a way of, I don't know, just, I just found her incredibly kind of captivating um, and not what I would expect. I don't know, I, I, I always have the, the, the worst expectations of people, just generally. I just think, I just assume people are gonna be terrible and, and so I'm always nicely surprised when they're not. And you're one of the people that actually did surprise me. Um, you know, but no, there's a trust, there's a trust. And I think um, a kindness and a, a generosity to her that just sort of allowed, like I remember just, me, just before we came on to my second scene with you and we were stood backstage and we were going like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay i was like you didn't have to do that you know you could have been like you're a you're mad you're, you're not gonna get this it's because i just i knew you were billy before you auditioned so yeah, i was like okay. just 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 do it i Go definitely didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's sweet to hear i love talking to both of you thank you so much for your time thank, thank you, you so much thank you for the questions hi Zipor, how's hi, it going? How you doing? hi. Uh, Eddie is very blunt while Warren is laid back. Despite these differences, they complement each other as the heartbeat of the band and are best friends. Would you consider yourself similar to your characters? And how did you guys bond offset to give us that amazing chemistry in the show? I mean, I think I'm quite far from Eddie. I think I, I relate to a lot of uh, his frustrations in some ways uh, in life, but then I, I handle them very differently to how he does. <laughs> You know, uh, and I, I don't like to uh, uh, think of myself as a grumpy guy. I think I'm quite lighthearted. Um, are you, I think you're quite similar to, yeah. to I, Warren. I feel like a lot of the time in work that I've done as an actor, like I stress out about like, oh, how do I, I'll do like a kind of weird voice and maybe I'll, I'll kind of have like a different physicality. How is this guy different? And I was like, maybe Warren's just like me, but like only the good parts, you know? And this is like just a 
like always on, like always like enjoying himself. Um, and uh, yeah, I, th I think um, I, you know between being on set and then and then like going in for the take, it was very similar. But <laughs> we did do like a, a certain little improv dialogue, and sometimes something would spill out that is a little too modern. Yeah, like, oh, no, they didn't say oh, that yet true. in the 70s. Like, oh, man. <laughs> Stop dipping in my Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were literally, we were looking up 70s phrases to pepper in there. Like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I love it. Uh, to Josh, how did you channel the frustration that Eddie had and to Sebastian, how did you channel that cheerfulness that Warren had? Um, well, I just, you know, I would start a scene and... From the minute we were working on it, I would be looking to figure out what it is that I could take in that scene as me being slighted. What I could find to be upset by and trying to find it, but like not just for the sake of it, but like a real genuine reason. Like maybe, maybe, and it's usually to do with Billy and I, in the end I kind of decided that I started out loving him and admiring him. And throughout the series, you see that. And then he keeps getting pushed aside by Billy, or he keeps being, he'll literally go around the circle and go, Will, tell me what you think, Sebastian. And then he'll skip over me and go to the next person and just put me to the back of the line constantly. So, you know, I felt like with the collaboration with Sam even on that and his performance, it really uh, aided me in, in, in trying to justify why I felt the way that I did. I was the, obviously the complete opposite. I think it was like every scene, even if it didn't have anything to do with the plot, like I was just finding something to be entertained by. Like it's a scene, they have checks mixed, and I'm like, oh, this is so good. You know, there's like, um, we, we, we walk into like, I, if um, if um, uh, Billy and Camilla's kid was was on set, I was like trying to pick her up and they're like playing with the kid. Like, like any, any situation where there could be something like to really have fun with and to be like overjoyed by, it was like, yeah, let's do that, here we go. You know, uh, which is a great character to play. You know, you just always feel happy, like <laughs> trying to keep the energy up. You know. Yeah, Warren's always. You know, there's so much chaoticness in the van, and you know, <laughs> Warren's just in it for the fun, and I just felt so bad for him. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> at the, even at the end, and when things go wrong, I'm still smiling. Like, wait, what? Is, is everything? Why is why is everyone so upset? Like, I yeah. did like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet with you too. You too. Thank you. Take care.